Hi, I'm Heather Nygaard. I'm the artist behind Life As I Know It at the Suffolk Art Gallery, um, sponsored by the Suffolk Art League. Um, this body of work is really mostly inspired by the uh, pandemic and the amount of time that we all had to really sit and think about things and um, really it was a time of self-reflection and which can be a good thing but also can bring up a lot of not so great memories and whatnot. Um, this particular body of work really looks at uh, trauma and really takes a look at how these events change a person, specifically me, mm. and how I, uh, who, how I changed from who I was before to who I am now. Um, navigating this world as a single mom with three kids and um, with mental illness and all of the crazy things that are happening in the world between the pandemic, between mm. Uh, the wildfires and climate change and the social unrest that's been happening and trying to figure out what kind of world are we leaving behind for our kids and me specifically what kind of world am I leaving behind for mine. For me each one of these paintings is a journey and it's a story. I've struggled through every single one of them. Every single one of them had a point where it was like I've messed it up and I had to keep going and trust that I had the skills in me to fix it or make it work. So each one has its own story, each one has its own victories, its own struggles, and they're all very special to me. Life as I know it. I mean, it's, it's a very introspective body of work. Um, and I don't like to try to think that like my experience reflects the experiences of everyone. It certainly doesn't. Um, I, this is only a view from my own life, my own experiences. And certainly there are people out there who have experienced far greater things or who are experiencing similar things but with additional it, problems that are on their shoulders to navigate. So I really didn't want to say the usual expression, life as you know it, because I don't know your life as you know it. I only know life as I know it. Um, but I think that by looking at this and by, by me sharing my introspective thoughts and my struggles that maybe it makes it a little less scary to look at your own struggles and mm -hmm. consider what do what does this work mean to you specifically mm -hmm. my journey as an artist um i have always liked art um when i was a little kid i remember my older brother who was really into art uh, he took a scribble of mine that I made and transformed it into this humanoid like bee creature on this branch and like four or five year old me was completely floored. I was like, whoa, you can do amazing things. So I was always interested in art but usually stuck in music classes um, because I also would sing. And it wasn't until I really got into high school that I properly pursued art. Um, and I went to Lakeland High School here in Suffolk, and there is this, or there was, I don't know if it's still there, this cabinet where artwork was displayed um, from the different levels of art. And I wanted to be in that cabinet so bad. <laughs> and I did not get in for the first few projects, and it just made me more and more determined. And then finally I got in, and it, it was very rare that I wasn't in there. So that was like a really big victory for me. And then for oil painting specifically, I went to school to study studio art. I was going to get a degree, teach school to, or teach high school art, and that's that. Um, but by the time I got to Old Dominion University, I had just experienced a divorce. I had experienced a whole bunch of trauma, and I was at a point where I was ready for some change. And I had a professor who approached me and said, you know, Heather, I think you're a painter. For me, that was kind of like, what? You're crazy. Because previously, I had taken one painting class and tried oils, and I was terrible at it. I mean, it was bad. And I was like, well, never doing that again, sticking to drawing. Um, but at that point in time, when she said that, I was like, you know what? Why not? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to change my major. And I did. And I took a class in oil painting. And I loved it. My professor, um, Elliot Jones, really believed in me and pushed me, and I, I loved it. It was fantastic. And that I, it's one of the best decisions I ever made. It was life-changing. I would definitely 
say that art is absolutely a fantastic way to express yourself and can definitely be a vehicle of healing. I think society has this idea that the only way you can make art and be an artist is if you're good at it. That's not true. Just do it because you love it. You don't have to share it if you don't want to, but just make something just for the sake of doing it. And you might surprise yourself. I mean, I didn't think I was a painter and here I am standing in a gallery full of my paintings. I want to say absolutely thank you to the Suffolk Art League for the opportunity to have this exhibit in the first place. A little fun fact, my first time ever showing in a gallery was in this gallery. It was in high school for the exhibit of excellence and I had a graphite drawing and it was actually on this wall. <laughs> so this is like a really special place to be my first solo exhibit. So thank you and they're wonderful.